Hello, this is uh, Chris Isham. I'm the Washington Bureau Chief for CBS News, and welcome to Flashpoints. I'm here, as always, with uh, Juan Zarate, our Chief National Security Analyst. Hi, Chris. So, Juan, let's uh, let's start with uh, uh, Syria and the regime of Bashar al-Assad, who's hung in, who's uh, conducted a brutal uh, campaign against his own people, uh, and has managed to hold on to power. But recently, he's suffered some setbacks, uh, both on the, in the battlefield, both up in the north, around the city of Idlib, mm -hmm. and in the south. Uh, is Assad in trouble? Uh, he's in more trouble now than, than in recent memory. And of course, Chris, you know that the battle lines have shifted constantly in this conflict, and you've had the, the not only humanitarian disasters, but the, the outflow of refugees. But what you have now is what appears to be the Syrian government's inability to control not just those two uh, uh, cities that you've described, but to hold territory and to defend and fight back. And so you're seeing real gaps of capabilities. It demonstrates that the fighting forces for the Syrian armed forces are really tired. Uh, they're having trouble backfilling in terms of recruitment. Um, and there seems to be a, a sort of a growing loss of support for the mission. And part of this is just fatigue. They've been fighting a long time. They've been fighting on several fronts. They have the Islamic State. They have Jabhat al-Nusra, the, the Free Syrian Army. Uh, and they've been trying to attack, to your point, with brutal methods. Uh, and they still haven't broken the back of the opposition. And that, I think, is morally de demoralizing. And they're having physical trouble holding territory. And they've also, there have also been some signs of internal stress within the regime, I believe. There's a number of intelligence chiefs have, uh, have been fired. And in one case, uh, I think, has even been assassinated. That's right. And I think the, these are the fissures in the regime that you want to see, uh, especially given the fact that the regime has relied on the Alawite community as the baseline for their support. And so what you've seen is the cracks in that support. The, the intelligence chiefs, a lot of suspicion within the regime itself as to who's doing what. And if, if uh, folks are leaving, for example, uh, one, of, one of the president's relatives has left the country. And so these are signs that I think demonstrate a bit of weakness and instability in the regime that you haven't seen as much in, in recent months. Of course, uh, Iran is a big supporter of, of the regime of Assad, as, as is Russia. Any signs that their, their support is weakening at all? Fundamentally not, Chris, but what's interesting is you look at the landscape, uh, the Iranians, Hezbollah, which has been in the fight as well, uh, and the Russians also have a bit of a fatigue factor. The Russians are fighting and worrying about the Ukraine uh, and they're near abroad. You have the Iranians and Hezbollah worrying about uh, the Golan, they're worrying about Iraq, uh, they're worried about now, the Iranians uh, worried about the Houthis in Yemen. And so this is a multi-front battle, proxy war underway. And Syria, though it's a cent centerpiece of that war, isn't the only battle space. And so you've seen the shifting of some of those resources uh, and a bit of fatigue uh, happening in the Syrian context. So. Uh, where does this? Where do you see this going? Does this uh, create pressure for negotiations? Is there a possible political solution, or do you see the collapse of the regime? Where, where do you see this going? Well, this is a really interesting moment because I think the the U.S. government has always hoped that there would be enough of a shift of the battle space to force Assad to negotiate an end to this. That there would be a political resolution. Uh, I think there's also a fear that there would be sort of imminent collapse because there's a great fear as to what comes next. Uh, is this replaced uh, by the Islamic State? Does, is, is it replaced by marauding Islamic fighters? Um, and so I think the, the, the question here is do we see other markers in the system, other signs that there's weakening control, in particular, for example, in Damascus? by the regime. And if that's the case, then you do potentially have a diplomatic off-ramp in a moment. Uh, or if this happens quickly, which can often happen, uh, we could be facing a real crisis of a regime collapse amid civil war. Worth monitoring. In any <laughs> We've got to watch it. Thank you, Juan. Thanks, Chris. And that's it for Flashpoints. We'll see you next time.